A critical part of building of the off season is building your power. And this can be measured on the power curve. And this is a power curve. You can see from the blue, which is on the top, is the best power that is able to achieve for any duration, where the y-axis is amount of watts and the x-axis is the duration in seconds. So we can see from this graphic that I, my best power ever was roughly uh, 1300 watts for one second, which was roughly 1100 watts for eight seconds and was roughly 800 watts for 30 seconds. So in order to uh, tailor my workouts, I need to know what power I should be at at a given month. And so let's take a look. So today is my five minute power test day. And this is the best five minute power that I've ever done, which was on 4-3-2019. I did um, 532 watts for five minutes. Okay. Which means in November, I should be able to do 299 watts. In December, I should be able to do 317. In January, 324. February, 327. March, and then April. And that's how I slowly work my way towards my best power. So that's my goal. So um, on this graph here, you can see um, the best power I've done for various months in 2020, 2021. Okay. And you can see that I have a big blank spot there for my five minute power for December. Um, now, uh, last year I did 316 watts for five minutes. Um, and this year I'm hope to do, well, something similar. Well, we'll see what that's going to be. Now, for my five minute power, here's my, uh, my goal for various months in November, December, January, February, March, April. And this is the power that I actually hit for various months, 2017, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And this is 2000, this is for the season 2022, even though it's December, 2021. Okay, and uh, what I want to do is hit 317. Last year I hit 316, the year before that 319, the year before that 280 and so on. And what I really want to do is hit, well, 317 watts. And that's kind of my goal. Now, what pace should I do for this five minute power? And to give you an idea, this is the pace that I did um, in a previous, a previous power test. Um, at this point in time, I hit 329 watts. Um, over the uh, average over five minutes. And what I did is I averaged about 320 watts for the first four minutes and then 360 watts for the last minute. And take a look at that last little, the last minute or the last half minute, I have those four little bumps. And what I'm doing there is I'm doing a, a, a five second surge. And then I try to hold that, that power as long as I can, then another five second surge and a five second surge. And this is basically doing a sprint and then just holding on. And I'm trying to recruit every last muscle and every last fiber of my strength to maximize that power number. And I'm going to do something similar, except this year, I'm not hoping for th this test. I'm not hoping for 329 watts. I'm hoping for 317. So basically, I'm going to average 305 and then surge and power through the last minute and hopefully get to that 317. Well, we'll see how that works. So here's a tour of my setup. Um, so I have the bike on the trainer. I have a fan going. I have a rag, which is a t-shirt hanging over the handlebars. I have water on hand. The computer is driving my workout. It knows how fast I'm going. Notice that the trainer is connected directly to the bike. And the, the screen has some video, which is motivating, as well as my power levels that I have to hit. OK, so now here I am. I'm doing the interval. And um, I'm trying to uh, put as much power down as possible while um, being arrow. I got to keep my back flat. I got to keep my shoulder, my elbows bent because it doesn't really matter if you could put power down if you can't do it while you're in arrow position because the ultimate goal is here to be faster. Um, and I'm also looking at the power meter constantly to try to be as, um, as consistent as possible. Surges and, act and, um, and breaks are actually wear me out faster without having um, the highest power. Okay, and now I'm gonna pause here and you're gonna see the last 30 seconds of this effort and to see what it takes to put every single watt down.
So how did it go? <clears throat> well, I did 318 watts, which is just one watt faster than I, harder than I, um, than I was hoping for. And you can see that my five minute power is actually 318 and I was fairly consistent. And right after that five minutes is over, my power drops off. That's because, well, I'm putting very little power down after that. This is the, um, the complete power curve, uh, power numbers for the entire um, workout. Um, you see, I start kind of low, then I have four intervals at that target power to try to warm up, get my heart rate up. A nice long break before the actual interval. Um, I have a little bit of spike. In fact, let's, let's zoom in on the actual interval itself. And you can see I have a little bit of a spike there at the beginning as I try to stabilize my power. And then I try to be as even as possible, even as possible. And then with about a minute left, I start surging and surging and surging. The last minute, I think I averaged about, about 360 watts, but you and through a collection of one, two, three, four, five surges. And you can see that uh, my max power I hit was was 418 right at the very end when I was done. And my heart rate slowly crept up, crept up until it's 173. That's pretty much the highest my heart rate goes. I think 174 is the highest I've seen in recent years. <clears throat> but I'm trying to keep that nice and, and even as I go. So that was a successful test. <clears throat>